Hello there everybody. We're here to pull cards for March the 7th. I'm going to be pulling one card per sign. That's going to give you a little bit of information if you know your sun sign. If you know your sun, moon, and rising, it'll give you a little bit more. And if you know your houses, you can actually pull quite a bit of juice from a quick little read like this. So, and this is the vice versa tarot, so I'm not shuffling it upside down. It really wouldn't matter which way I shuffle it. <laughs> Either way, there's pictures. Um, so let's see. It's kind of a fun little deck, actually. I wouldn't recommend it for a beginning deck. I would want to be a little bit more advanced before I would try to grasp this thing. But um, for those of you who are more advanced, this is, this is a fun deck to work with. I'm not sure I'm supposed to actually be using it in reverse as far as, you know, reversals in the cards, as far as the manufacturer would be concerned or the creators would be concerned. But um, all of my decks I end up using in reversals. I just, I just like them. Um, reversals are not always bad, so it's nice to have them in there. So anyway, let's get started, shall we? All right, let's make sure the zoom is big enough. I like you guys to be able to really see the cards pretty well on the camera. So that might be a little too much. We'll see. Okay. All right, so let's take a peek. I'm going to pull the cards like I always do, which means I'm going to pull off the top and I'm going to flip over like so, which is what I always do with my other decks as well. So basically what we have coming up for you, Aries, talks to me about the idea of something uh, coming back from the past. You have some kind of memories that are showing up from the past, and these are not the type of memories that we really enjoy. They're not the type of memories that we want to entertain because they're memories of things that just aren't aren't so good. Now, sometimes we have memories come up from the past because we have a person that comes up from the past that brings those memories in. And if that's the case for you, Aries, I think you're going to be trying to find whatever way you can to minimize time with that person who's bringing those memories with them. Okay. Next up, let's look at Taurus. So Taurus, you guys have the King of Wands showing up here. This is just telling me that you are... Um, Feeling very, um, the word I'm hearing is emboldened about what I don't exactly know, but something that makes you feel inspired and enthusiastic and gives you a lot of energy. So something that you've really, um, that you really enjoy. I'm going to say that you really enjoy doing or you really enjoy participating in. Uh, maybe you've been kind of shy about it before. I, I see you as being very emboldened to move forward into that today. Next up, we're looking at Gemini's. So Gemini's, Six of Wands showing up that side in reverse. This is telling me the way the energy is sitting right now, Gemini's, that if you're not careful about your perspective about things, you're going to miss some things. Um, and so we really want to turn this energy around. That's why it's good to watch these things ahead of time. But it could be really easy to um, to not notice the good that people are doing around you and not show your appreciation for that good that they are doing. So this is um, this is really like if you catch yourself sort of self-focused or uh, focused on negatives, then you want to kind of you kind of want to stop in your tracks with that and you want to think about what am I missing here? What could I actually be appreciating? And allow yourself to switch that energy up because that if you can switch that energy up and find something to appreciate, that makes your day go much, much, much better. Okay, next up we're looking at Cancer. So Cancers, you guys have the Ten of Wands showing up um, that side in reverse. So Cancers, this is telling me that there is something, some type of um, responsibility that you have put down or set aside. And I think today you're really enjoying this idea of relaxing instead of working on this responsibility that you would normally have today. For some of you, I really get the impression that a lot of you actually have planned this ahead of time. So you may have scheduled some type of day off or if you don't have that type of, of tight schedule like that, then you really had already decided, you know, I'm just going to have a day where I'm relaxing or where I'm having fun. 
And so this is what I see you doing today, putting down some type of burden and allowing yourself to relax and replenish and rejuvenate. So that was Cancer. Next up, we're looking at Leo, Leo, Leo. Look at you, Leo. Y'all pulled your own card. Strength card showing up in reverse. This is telling me that you're not feeling your best today. And it's funny how this comes in. I'm really feeling like, Leo, there's something that I don't know if I want to say it's your Achilles heel, but there's something that you're trying to improve about your own self, your own personal character. And I feel like with this card showing up in reverse, I feel like you're not quite doing as good as you would like to with that right now. And I think it's important for me to stress too that whatever this is that you're trying to improve, you are trying to improve. You know, not your mother-in-law is trying to improve about you. <laughs> <laughs> not your wife, not your sister, not your brother. This isn't something somebody else is trying to get you to improve on. This is something that you have chosen to work on improving. And I think you're feeling a little bit frustrated that it's taken a little longer than what you expected it to with this card showing up today. All right, so next up, let's look at Virgo. Virgo, four swords. Look how that guy's taking a nap. He's got a view of things going on, and there is a battle off in the distance. Generally, this is pictured as somebody who's a warrior who is resting before they get ready to jump into battle. All right? But in this case, it's interesting because this is somebody who is, uh, with all of that white hair, this is somebody who's seen battles in the past, plenty of battles in the past, and now is resting. And it, it really kind of implies to me a little bit of a more permanent type of rust than what we have in a in a traditional tarot deck. So to me this could be do 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 who is this? That's Leo, this is Virgo. This could be yourself or somebody in your sphere of influence that is retiring. Could be. The other thing that it could be is somebody that has a lot of um, knowledge or experience in a particular field sort of coming out of retirement too, coming out of retirement to do some type of consulting to help some people that are in the younger generation with accomplishing whatever it is they want to accomplish. With that swords, uh, with the fact that it's a swords card, this tells me that this may have to do with strategy or it may have to do with communication, one or the other. Okay. Ba -da 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 -da. That's Virgo. Next up is Libra. Libra, this side of the Eight of Coins showing up in reverse just means that you're not getting any work done today. Not getting any work done today. So if you were planning on getting something accomplished today, you may want to make a backup plan for when that could actually happen. Next up, we are looking at Scorpio. Scorpio, moon card showing up that side and in reverse what's going on here <sighs> Scorpios I think we have something that's coming up um, from our own subconsciouses for us to address and look at today isn't that interesting I really feel like the, um, the idea that this girl is only in her birthday suit kind of has to do with um, that sensation of feeling vulnerable. There is, you know, that bowl that she's holding, which I'm guessing has some kind of cleanser in it. And there's the light coming off of her hand, which has to do with energy. So to me, this really talks about the idea of something coming up from our subconscious that we really need to, to heal up that we need to cleanse and heal up and work with so that we can move forward in a better way. But there's there's a lot of transparency here. I don't see, really, there's no secrets whatsoever in this moon card when she shows up in reverse. To me, a traditional moon card when she shows up in reverse, truth is coming to the surface. To me, this is really even doubly so with the way these towers are. You can actually see into the hollow backs of the towers. Now, you know, if you look at the other side of this card, like you have no idea that the backs of those towers are hollow, right? But with this, yeah, you can see right into them. Hey, what's up? It's all right there. Okay. So definitely something coming up from our subconscious that we are 
working with and doing some healing on. All right, so that was for Scorpios. Sagittarius. Sagittarius, you guys have the Knight of Wands showing up in reverse. This is telling me that you are taking care of something today, some type of chore or something like that. Um, chore or activity that you're not really that excited about participating in or doing. You know, maybe you're not feeling super competitive today and there's something competitive going on. You really don't feel like being competitive. Or maybe there's something that needs to get done that is tedious, tedious, tedious. It is the time of year to do taxes. This is you doing it, just not really looking forward to it, not having a lot of energy about it, sort of plodding your way through. Okay, next up we do have Capricorn. Okay, so Capricorns, what we have showing up for you guys is the Temperance card. Showing up in reverse, though. Actually, I want to look at this a little closer. Yep. So Temperance card in reverse. Capricorns, this is telling me that you're noticing today that you're um, kind of, you've got something in your life that's kind of out of balance. And this can apply to your check card, to your, to your check card, to your checking account, to your emotions, um, to your income versus your spending. Uh, this can apply to a lot of different things. I've seen this come up even for hormones being out of balance. Uh, but this basically says that you're noticing, you're realizing that there's something out of balance today, Capricorns, and you are beginning to educate yourself and take steps to fix that and bring it back into balance. Next up, let's look at Aquarius. So Aquarius, you guys have the Ten of Pentacles here. This is a card that talks about um, feeling stable, uh, feeling secure, feeling happy, basically, that relief of knowing that you have everything that you need to do everything that you want to do. So really a nice, nice, nice card for those of you with Aquarius placements. Next up, we're looking at Pisces. So Pisces, you have that side of the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Um, Seven of Pentacles in reverse for me talks about delay basically says that, you know, you thought it was going to be payday. It's not really. Um, and with this person sitting down here with the shovel in the hand, kind of tells me that you're expecting a payday for something, but uh, because it's taking a little extra time, you're starting to get dejected about it and you're putting less energy and effort into it is the way the energy is showing up here. Now, obviously, um, you know, you want to be aware of that and you want to think about, you know, am I doing that consciously? Is that really the best idea or should I be really doubling down on my energy and effort to make that payday show up a little faster? So that's what I've got for everybody. Thank you so much for being here. I do appreciate it. Um, you guys' support for me means an incredible amount of goodness. You guys can't even imagine unless you've got your own YouTube channel. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Also, thank you to those of you who are booking private readings, private Reiki sessions, thumbs up, shares, comments, all of that good stuff. It is because of all of you guys' support that I'm able to do what I love to do for my living. So once again, thank you very much. Everybody have a great day. Peace out.